another year in the books? Can you try and put it into words yet? Uh, well, well, you know, first off, I'm just blessed to be able to finish my third year in the NBA. Uh, so I thank God every day for that opportunity to be here. And, uh, you know, it's my uh, third year. I'm learning a lot about the NBA, about the business of the NBA, and uh, how to excel in this league. So uh, I think the biggest thing is just the, the growth and the learning of uh, everything. A little interesting year for you, you know, mm -hmm. injuries and then coming off the bench. What did you really learn? Uh, well, first, you know, just to always stay prayed up in whatever I do. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, just when adversity comes, to be able to get back up and always uh, stay positive. And, uh, you know, nothing's going to stop me from being uh, the best basketball player can I, that I can be. So uh, each and every day uh, I step on that court and I'm going on it's just for my teammates and it's just for uh, me as a player to excel. So uh, nothing is going to hold the love that I have for the game back from me. Tobias, how does a team full of young guys shorten the learning curve? How do you guys make up this gap in a short period of time? Well, I think it's going to, you know, have to come as a collective unit. You know, we're going to have to all uh, hold, each other, hold each other together in this uh, to get better as a team and, uh, you know, uh, to, to each pull each other along and uh, get where we need to be. How tough is going through a season like this where you don't win many games? You didn't win many games last year while you were here. How tough is that? Oh, it's real tough. I mean, uh, you know, for me as a player, uh, uh, going to every game thinking we're going to win with a winning attitude, but, um, you know, we're, we're not far from where we need to be, and, uh, you know, we're, we're going to take the steps to get where we want to be, and uh, that's to be playing, uh, you know, that's to be at this time next year, not being where we're at now, so uh, uh, we're not far from where we need to be, and we're, we're going to get there. How much do you pay attention to what moves the team makes in the offseason, what they do in the draft. I mean, are you paying attention to that? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, uh, you know, I think that that's part of key being on the team. You should know what your team is doing. Um, you know, uh, who's your new teammate or who's the, who's the guy that we're looking at getting. So, I mean, I'm definitely uh, keyed in on that. Tobias, uh, Bill Burgess is, is not a guy most fans know anything about, but mm. what is he, you know, what does he do well? How does he have a good rapport with you guys? Well, uh, you know, uh, he's our guy, our strength coach. I mean, he gets us ready uh, night after night in the off season. Um, and he has a lot of passion for what he does, and that's to get his guys uh, to be to 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 reach their potential um, physically. And uh, you know, he's helped me out throughout this whole year, coming back from the ankle injury. Uh, you know, getting my legs under me. And, uh, getting my strength back to where it needs to be. So, uh, you know, but he's a guy that is behind the scenes, but at the same time, he does a lot to help us out that nobody really realizes. Are you going to take several weeks off to kind of accelerate that healing process with that high ankle? Yeah, I'm going to take, uh, you know, some time off uh, and uh, get it checked out. See, you know, it's, it's fine, but it's just to get it checked out and make sure it's, uh, still, still good, but I'm gonna take some time off. You always were starting, coming off the bench toward the end. Mm -hmm. Would you like to see your role as for next year? It doesn't matter. I'm a, you know, I'm the type of player, and uh, you know, I've showed it throughout this whole year. Just whatever role uh, you want me at, I'm gonna excel at it, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna pout. I'm just gonna come out to work every day and uh, do what I can for my teammates. I mean, I think the biggest thing for me is just winning and uh, getting into a position where. Uh, we can win games and whatever road it is for me. Um, you know, I know I'll be part of it. But, uh, you know, I'll just excel at it. Fans are still wondering, you know, how far along are we in this process of rebuilding? As a player, do you have any idea how close do you think the Magic are to, to, to making a run? I think, well, um, you know, we're, we're, it takes time, but at the same time, I think, uh, you know, going into next year is a year where we can expect a lot. And, uh, you know, I don't know about the money we're going to make this summer and going into next season, but I know as far as myself, from my standpoint, uh, you know, I'm going to hold my, myself and my teammates uh, to a very high standard. How do you work on improving defensively over the summer? Or is that something that has to start in training camp or uh, rookie 
in free agent league. Yeah, I think uh, as uh, as a team, as we get uh, more experience and get into a lot of positions where we can help ourselves down and stretch the games, you know, I think uh, we, we let a lot, of, a lot of games slip away this year towards the fourth quarter. So I think just with experience and uh, having composure to get stops and uh, get the right plays on our offensive end, I think that'll help us in, you know, just getting stronger and uh, we have a lot of young guys on the team, so just getting more mature.